What's going on everyone? Before we get started, if you can hit subscribe so you get up to date notifications on when we go live with new content right here on this channel. And of course, if you hit that like button, it'll really help us out because that'll help more people find this channel just like you did. Now, what I want to talk about today was what Madden and the Madden community can absolutely learn from another EA Sports franchise known as UFC. Now, UFC is one of EA Sports' titles that I think is actually pretty good. It's very well done in the simulation aspect, and it's actually pretty challenging and punishing to, you know, figure out how to actually play it properly. But we're getting a little too far to what I'm trying to actually talk to you about. Now, if you're unfamiliar with UFC 4's announcement, one of the biggest things coming out of it, and if you were unfamiliar with the UFC franchise, they did have an ultimate team mode in there. And if you were like me and you first heard about this a couple years ago when they did it on UFC 2 for the first time, you may be thinking, how is there an ultimate team mode with a UFC game? Well, it's because it's EA Sports. That's how there is one. <laughs> That's essentially it. But uh, here in a press release they did uh, following the official announcement of UFC 4, they announced that ultimate team will not be returning to UFC 4. So what does this mean for Madden? What does this mean for the Madden community specifically and why I'm addressing the Madden community in this exact video? Now, a lot of us are very tired of the constant ignoring of franchise mode and uh, improvements to the gameplay and making a true simulation experience that we have long desired and hoped for and have seen out of EA Sports themselves. Now, the whole point of bringing this all up is essentially saying that we're to blame. We are to blame. Now, maybe not you specifically watching this video, but the Madden community in totality is to blame for this. So I know one person that plays Ultimate Team frequently or has their main game mode in Madden, you're to blame. You absolutely are to blame. And this press release from UFC specifically says just that. Now, if you didn't think sports companies, or excuse me, if you didn't think that game development companies or publishers aren't aware of the game modes you are playing, you're wrong. You're, 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 you're being tracked technically uh, because they get player data. They know who plays in the online modes and everything else if you're connected. It's just how it works. And it's a way for companies to be able to push their resources to one way or the other. And here we go. I'm going to go ahead and read a little bit of an excerpt here. Now, EA did say that their biggest reason for taking out Ultimate Team was that the fact that MMA is not a team sport. And, of course, as they said in this press release here, that MMA truly is a team sport. But when it comes down to it, when the actual bell rings, it's not a team sport anymore. It's one-on-one. -on -one. That's all it is. So how can you have an Ultimate Team concept within that arena? And it's exactly it. Why? <laughs> it didn't make sense when I heard about it at first, and it still doesn't to this day. But this next point... If this was not true, you would still see Ultimate Team in UFC. So EA is just lying out their asses when they're pretty much saying that, oh, it's a team thing. We're, I mean, it doesn't make sense. I mean, if that was the case, you would have not done it in the first place. But they said here, and point number two, speaking of player data, we see overwhelmingly less interest in UFC Ultimate Team compared to other titles. Lots of people played it, and some still do, but the large majority of our fans prefer to spend their time elsewhere. That fact is loud and clear through our game data and could not be ignored. Now, they mentioned that they put a lot of time, money, and effort into building up Ultimate Team over UFC 2 and 3, but they did not see the returns that they were hoping for. So they didn't see returns that you'd see out of a FIFA with um, Ultimate Team over there or Madden with Ultimate Team over there. They just weren't getting that return. And this is proof that EA Sports will essentially give up on something if they're not getting money out of the project. And this is your chance, folks. This is proof that EA even will listen to your wallet. So... You need to speak with your wallet, folks. If you don't want Ultimate Team to get the constant upgrades from Madden or FIFA or even NHL, if you're an NHL Ultimate Team player, stop spending the damn money over there. Stop spending your time over there. Start spending it in franchise or just don't spend your money at all on a Madden game or an NHL game or a FIFA game until you see it the way you want to see it. Because this is proof positive that EA Sports will look at player data and if people are playing these specific modes and they're playing it to their liking in terms of the time spent and money spent within those game modes or within the game itself, why would they change? Why? I mean, if put yourself in EA's position, would you change? If you're making money doing something and a lot of it hand over fist, you're not going to stop doing it, folks. FIFA and Madden Ultimate Team are huge, huge money grabs for EA. That's why so much time and money is spent into developing those modes and constantly advertising those modes. So this is proof right here. This is all you need to see, folks. If you want Madden Ultimate Team to not be the primary driver of Madden games going forward, do your best, spread the word, and let people know that. Spend your time elsewhere, whether it's with franchise mode in Madden or on a different game entirely, folks, because they do listen. 
But I want to know your thoughts. Does the UFC Ultimate Team disappearance really affect Madden in any way? Can we make true change happen? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. I'm very interested to hear about it. Again, if you could like this video, it does help us out here on the channel. It does let other people know that we exist. And of course, we have new videos all the time. We've just been talking about access and maximum football over the last couple of days. So check those videos out, which you could have already done by looking at the videos that pop up in the top right or just clicking on the channel and looking through all of our playlists. So in the meantime, I want to thank you for your time and have a good one and party on.